this is the end of the palletized route man <sighs> i'm in the big leagues told them don't miss me ballin like houston hey feeling like whitney i need a bag bro send it through quickly i'm making his dog like i'm in the big leagues told him that i gotta go dog i'm riding the road y'all i think that i'm back in my bag now so i need that go y'all Back. Yes, sir. No more of that manual. I had the manual for a week and a half. It was totally been a week. A week and a half is too long for me. <laughs> Give me my baby back. My 2023. Yeah, boy. Welcome back, baby. Welcome back. Welcome back. I gotta slide my tandems, bro. I don't know who put them all the way back there. Look how far back that is, man. That ain't gonna work. Let me slide my tandems, man, so I can get up out of here. This is the end of the palletized route, man. <sighs> Only got a little bit longer with you guys, man. Damn. Fifty-seven cases total. My bad, I said that wrong. I was looking at what was remaining. My bad. One hundred ninety-six cases total. One hundred ninety-six cases. Let's get it. Creed 1 and 2, you probably want to 
check those movies out first before you, you know, skip the Creed 3. But also movie in my opinion. So we did that, that was Saturday. Then Sunday, once again, had a great workout. And then me and my wife went to church. Amazing service, got the word in. Um, and then later on that day, we hit the beach, man. And it was a beautiful, beautiful day at the beach. So we had a great time, man. Had a great weekend. It was amazing, man. Um, today is Thursday. And tomorrow, we'll actually be flying out to Maryland. My wife and I will be flying out to Maryland. She has a work event that she's really excited about. It's a gala, right? So it's a formal event. So yeah, man, that should be a vibe. It should be nice. They got us up in a really nice hotel. It's a pretty big deal with the company that she works for. So we're looking forward to that, man. We'll be in Maryland. Um, from Friday, we'll fly in Friday, get there sometime Friday morning, I think. And then we'll fly back out on Sunday. I'm not on vacation or anything like that. We're just going up there for the weekend um, and for this event. So we'll be spending some time up there, man. Should be dope. Looking forward to that. So yeah, man, just living life, man. Bless, 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 bless. Shout out to you guys that um, commented on my last video. Yes. I am getting some sponsorship opportunities now, man. I'm very grateful, very thankful for those opportunities. Man, all I can say is sponsorships is where it's at. That's all I'm gonna say to that. But look, I'm getting ready to pull up, man. My guy in front of me is pulling up. So I gotta get some fuel, man. Let me fuel up. I'll tap back in with you guys a little bit later because I got to tell you how the pelletized route is coming to an end. Y'all keep it locked. All right, guys, so I'm done for the day, man. I'm on the back of the trailer. I figured I'll show you better than I can tell you. For those of you that may not know what a pelletized trailer looks like versus a floor-loaded trailer, let me explain it to you. So when I say it's the end of the palletized route for me. That's because my route is going to a floor loaded trailer, all right? Typically here at GFS, the majority of our routes are floor loaded. The majority of our trailers are floor loaded. So you'll see cases basically on the floor and just stack all the way up as opposed to being on a pallet like you see here right all of my cases are on a pallet and shrink wrap so i mentioned this in a previous video but all of our routes are changing at my location right that's going to be some adjustments made to basically all of our routes to accommodate new business that's coming on in the next several months for me I'll be picking up a new customer the end of next month, beginning of April, uh, May. So end of April, May, I'll be picking up a customer and then I'll be picking up one or two more uh, after that within the next several months, right? So with that being said, I'm already cubed out on certain days of the week. Like for example, um, last Thursday, Friday load, right? I had 1200 cases i was cubed out so i knew this was coming my manager pretty much told me like look with the new business coming on you're gonna have to go floor loaded right you're already cubed out on certain days and there's no way possible you're gonna be able to fit all of these you know the new stops on your route and still stay palletized <laughs> so I don't even want to think about having a floor loaded 50 foot trailer. It's not just my route that's going to be affected by it. Everybody's route is going to have some new stops added onto it. We're even going to be adding, I think, two additional routes if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, man, you know, new business, more business is obviously a good thing, but with more business comes adjustments. And that's kind of what we're looking at now. So. Um, 
shout out to the new drivers or the newer drivers that's on our team hopefully they should be able to get a full route now at least i know one of them in particular um he should be able to get five days in now um, with the new business that we got coming on a lot of these new guys are anxious and ready to get their own routes right now you know i think one of the guys has about three days and then two days he's probably riding with somebody you know to make five days and then we got another guy well we got one new new guy and then we have a newer guy that's kind of been riding along and so and then we got you know another guy that has like three days he has seniority over the other two new guys so basically we have like three new guys but um two of those guys have been with us less than you know five six months one of them is like really new he's only been with us now probably two months maybe somewhere along those lines um he's been working on getting his automatic restriction removed off his license so he's kind of been you know practicing in the manual studying and things of that nature to get that automatic restriction removed it's definitely good for those guys i know they are ready to get their own full route right so it's a good thing for them and really it's a good thing for, for for everybody for the most part because like i said you know new customers more cases all of those you know sort of things so i gotta say bye to the palletized route i'm gonna be honest i've been with the palletized route now for a couple years and i love it i personally prefer to have my route like this um have my cases on pallets to me it's just i don't know a lot of times it's just more organized and it just it's easier to manage and deal with when things go wrong like for example unless the trailer is just loaded backwards now in those situations it's just a big mess right and what i mean by that is when they load the pallets um on wrong according to the sequence like for example they've done this before and they put like my first stop um towards the nose of the trailer in the freezer and i've had to unload basically a whole side of the truck just to reorganize my pallets and put them in in the correct order so when that happens now that's a nightmare right um but besides that like for example if a pallet tip over then it's a lot easier to know where those cases are supposed to go compared to when you got a floor loaded trailer and you got cases that fall over due to you know bad load bars or whatever the case may be it's a mess that's something that i was trying to avoid i really didn't want to deal with those sort of things happening but it doesn't look like i'm gonna have uh have any choice I'm, i gotta deal with it and then on top of that now i'm gonna have to be working out of the side door a lot more than i do now because now you know when i get done with my first couple stops which is you know my first two stops are on pallets one of them is a full pallet drop meaning i don't have to run any cases but the other one is not a pallet drop i still have to run those cases but i am able to pull the pallets off the trailer um you know and it's just a lot easier when you when you have to do that all the guys who have lift gates you guys know what i'm talking about i don't have a lift gate but i do love when i have to back up to those two docks it's a lot easier rather than you know having to go up and down the ramp and running cases in so you know it is what it is i'm not going to be able to do that anymore now i'm going to have to build pallets i think one of those stops will be coming off of me um going to somebody else so you know that's that's cool that'll help out some but i am going to have to build pallets now at um at least one of those stops depending on which one i keep so you know it is what it is man that's all i got for you guys today man i'll probably make a video talking about the pros and cons when it comes to floor loaded versus palletized trailer i'll probably make a separate video talking about that because i really don't want to make this video here too long um so yeah i'll talk about that in another video i'll catch you guys on the next one remember to like comment subscribe i'm gone man peace